Hello everyone, this is Starlin Jones, and this is my first live uh, organ session. And basically the uh, topic that I was asked to about was, you know, basically just the organ and the draw bars. So uh, first of all, this is a uh, Hammond XK3 that we'll be working with this evening. And just to give you a few things, it only has two sets of draw bars. On a regular organ, it would have four sets. So uh, what I like to do, I like to approach the organ from the standpoint of uh, just be familiar Hello, with the draw bars. This is Jones, and this is my first live uh, organ session. Sorry about that. I had it going in the background there, but I cut that off. And basically, this is my first live organ session, and I'm just going to go over the draw bars and play a few songs and just show you some things that I like to do on the organ. Now, uh, in order to understand the organ, you know, you have your draw bars here. This is a 16. This is a 5 and a 3rd. This is an 8. This is a 4. 2 and 2 thirds. Two, one and three fifths, one and a third, and then you have your one. And this will control the top set. Then you have over here to the right, you have the same uh, numbers, sets of draw bars, and even control the bottom. All right, and then you have these two you have a 16 and an 8, which control the foot pedal. So it just depends on uh, how you like to set them up as to you know what you would play during service. So uh, I don't know all of the draw bar settings by hand or by heart. So what I do, you see I have my laptop sitting here, so I have some information on there that I use that I practice with, but I like to use my iPad. And on my iPad, I have all of, you might not be able to see that really well, but I have a, a PDF document on my iPad. And it has all of the different draw bar settings that I like to use. Um, you can download this uh, free of charge on the mastertheorgannow.com website. So uh, feel free to go there, check that out. You can download this for free. Uh, it has draw bar settings that you can use for your left hand, your right hand, or your upper and your lower register, as well as bass foot pedals. And then there's another page, another two pages that just has some general draw bar settings that I like to use uh, in service. So at any given point, like I said, on this organ you only have the two sets of draw bars, but on a regular organ you would have four. So when you get in service you might want to go ahead and just set up four settings automatically. Uh, you may have one that does a rumble, and if you do the rumble you have that up top. You notice how they do that, where basically you just Hit these first four to five notes and you just rumble on that. And generally, they pull out the first four. 16, the five, and the third, the eight, and the four. You generally pull those four out if you're ever going to rumble. And a lot of times people do it on the top. Okay. Uh, to control this top set, I'm using this key right here. This is the first uh, preset or you know, it's the first note that I can use. The rest of these over here are, are already presets that you can use, but this controls the top. And like I said, you can use the top draw bars up here. Vice versa below. I use this key, and then I can use this set using these. So just to go over some draw bar settings I like to use in service, uh, I'll use just say the classic B3 sound for hymns, and I'm gonna put that right here. The classic B3 sound for hymns, you would have I put that on the bottom, so I'll go ahead and close those up. I would have an eight for my 16. I'd have an eight for my five and a third. I'm not sure I'm clicking it to try again. Uh, for some reason, let me open this up. Okay, sorry about that. It dropped off. So again, basically the only thing I went over 
was that you know you have your draw bars you can use different settings uh, if you have four draw bars you want to go ahead and just set up four sets or four sounds so you can use them in service uh, these are for your, your bass pedal or your foot pedal and uh, we just did the classic B3 sound for hymns so now I'm going to do one this is called the Brooklyn style and I also want to give a shout out to Mr. Samuel Tobert. Uh, he had a lot of useful information that I, that I did use to put in a PDF document for the drawbar settings. So the Brooklyn style consists of a 16 all the way at 8, and it consists of a 4 all the way at 8, and it consists of a 2 all the way at 8. And I'm putting all these sounds out here. I really don't, really don't need these, even though I pulled them out the last time. That's a nice sound. Now you'll notice my left hand didn't go and hit the tremolo switch because on this particular organ there's a foot switch that I can use. So I just hit it with my right foot. It's connected to the uh, expression pedal. Pull this out for the rumble. I'm not going to cut that off. Again, there are many different ways you can approach the organ. Uh, those are two pretty good sounds that I like to use. There's another one called Kojic Hymns. It is 8-8, eight, 6-6, eight, six, 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 excuse me. I take that back. It's two eights, two sixes. Then I have... Ace the rest of the way. And that would be what I said it was the Kojic hymns. Yeah, wrong to. But you get the idea, that's the sound. Now one thing you want to do is, uh, you, being that you have both draw bars, even though I only have two, I could have a nice strong sound up here. So I'll put that sound up here, six. And then I could have a worship sound down here. So I put the Koji Kim up here. Now let me go down to the bottom. I'll put... Let's see. <laughs> That's a nice sound. And then always don't be afraid to uh, to play around with it. So the only thing I had out there was a 16 and an 8. So while you're on your while you're playing, don't be afraid to change it up a little bit. Did 
then when you have to take it back down. And like I said, just be creative. Change it up a little bit. Uh, let's see what else we got. And again, I just want to thank those of you who joined. Uh, like I said, this is my first one. But things are getting a little better. We're just testing it out now to see how the uh, Google Hangout works and how it uh, and if, you know, how we can use it, you know, to better help musicians, you know, on the net, you know. So you'll learn something from Oregon, from me, you can learn something from other musicians on the net and just enhance all of your abilities. <laughs> all right, let's see. So let's say, let me look for another one. This one is called Very Pleasant. You can say you got three eights. So a 16, a 5, and a third, and an 8 is all at 4. And then your 2 and 2 thirds is at 4. That's not too bad of a sound. I'm going to change it up to another sound. This one is called Sunday Morning. This is only a 16 out of 4. And one thing to pay attention to is when you pull out the drawbars, just notice how the notes shift on the keyboard or on the, uh, the register so you'll know which side to play on. So just for instance, I'm playing here. You see how the how the tone changes? It went up. And they complement each other. This is a 16 and an 8. It went even higher. It went even higher. So you'll notice each time you use a different register or a different drawbar, that is, it changes the tone so that it goes up the uh, scale up on the, uh, on, the, on the organ here. So that's why you want to use your various combinations. So I'm using this 16, this 8, I'm using a 4, and a 2, and a 1. You'll see how they uh, coincide, they go together. 16, 8, 4, 2, and 1, they're all pulled out. So I'll just drop those down and I'm going to go back to, I'm just going to try the 5 and a third, the 2 and a third. I'm going to try these. Let me see what I get. Nah, that doesn't sound too hot. So that's why you got to use the other draw bars to complement these notes or complement the sounds. Notice how this dropped it or shifted the notes down here. So instead of playing here, I need to play up here.
Now you see how easily I changed and went from a um, pretty forceful sound down to a mellow sound. And I'll say that's, that just all comes from just practicing and uh, you know flowing with the service and being more familiar with the drawbars. So up here, and you just need to change your sound. It'll take time to practice getting that smooth, getting that smoothly. stuff like that. Uh, let's see what else. We'll go over this one sound says it's joy joy deaf one. Okay let's see what that is. Joy deaf one that is a 888 a 4 zero, zero, zero. excuse me and then I eight, and then I zero again. Let's see what that sounds like. Now there are some other settings you can use, uh, like for percussion, and a lot of times the percussion is going to be used on the top register. Uh, so you can do that. It just so happens on this one, I can do like a manual bass. I could do some reverb, and then there's also a demo mode. But uh, for the purpose of this, it's just, you just I just want you to get familiar with, uh, you know, both sets of registers. You know, this organ has two sets of draw bars. Most have four. So just play around with it. You know, just get a feel for you know your particular organ. Set up some sounds before service starts, and then uh, just flow with the service. Uh, another sound that I'm going to show you is called. Captain Jack. Let's see what that is. Captain Jack. Eight. So I have a sixteen. That's an eight. I have a one and three fifths, a one and one third, and a one that is at an eight. Then I have a two at six, and then I don't have anything else. <laughs> Doesn't sound too bad, but you might want to add something else to that. Mm -hmm. 
Doesn't sound too bad. Let's try another one. Uh, let's see. It's called Funky Percussion. Okay, let's see what that one is. I'll put that one up here. That will be six. And six. So you'll have a 16 at six, and you'll have a four at six. <laughs> probably use that for doing some solos and then I'll play your chords with your left hand at the bottom. Uh, I'm going to have to learn how to do a whole lot more of that but basically you can Go with another sound. Okay, what is blue standard? Oh, blue standard lead bass. That's I showed you that earlier. Uh, that's just the that's just one of the names on the sheet. We have the the first four pulled out, the sixteen, the five, and the third, the eight, and the four. And so that's what you have had there. Like I guess you can do the one. Uh, let's see. One thing, I think I'm going to check out something here. All right, let's see, we have the rock solo shouting. We have the three. This is a 16, a 5, and a third, and an 8. Let me put that at the bottom. Thing I did there, I mean, just do it at your leisure. Slide on the organ song. Uh, this, I think I did a worship. Well, I just use these two. Let's see what else we got here. White shade of pale. Okay. That is I got a six, two eights, a six. And all zeros for the rest. So I have a 16 at 6, a 5 and a third at 8, an 8 at 8, and a 4 at 6. And this is to, this is titled Whiter Shade of Pale. Let's see what we got here. Uh, Thank <laughs> you. 
pretty good now I'm going to double up and put a sound on the upper register and a uh, sound on the lower register on the first draw bar sheet a lot of times you want to do your solos up here and do your left hand chords on the bottom so just say for meditation I'm going to use let's see, zero zero seven eight Two zeros, four, five, and three. So I'll have an eight at seven. I'll have a four at eight. I have a one and three fifths at four. I'll have a one and one third at five, and I'll have a one at three. So use that for your soloing, and then at the, at the bottom, you can have a six on the eight, you can have a seven on the four, you have a five. On the one and the third, you can have a four on your one and one third. So again, you can chord with your with your left hand. Something along those lines. theater organ you would have for your upper you have 16 and 8 you have a 7 another 8 for your 8 you have a 6 5 6 4 six and a seven then on your lower register you can have your eight and your four will both be at eight your two and two thirds and your two can be at four and everything else can be turned off so let's see what those two sounds sound like. And your solo will come on the top end. J 
just showing you what those two sounds sound like. And then you would play them together. You get a solo on top, chords on the bottom. Well, that pretty much covers a lot of the different sounds that we have. And like I said, you can go to mastertheorgannow.com and download this free PDF document that has all of the drawbar settings in it that I've gone over, plus the host of other drawbar settings that I haven't gone over. So uh, for the next few minutes, I'm just going to put a track on and uh, play a few songs. Uh, let's see. I normally use my iPad you know, to do different tracks. So let me pull up some drum patterns. Let me turn the volume up on this. Let me see if this sounds right. Like I said, I need to practice on a lot of different things and uh, go over some lessons and go over some different licks and things of that nature. But uh, 
I'm gonna go ahead and cut this off a little short. Uh, we said we're gonna go from about eight to nine, but uh, appreciate those who joined. And it looks like we don't have anybody else online, so uh, I'll go ahead and stop the broadcast. And uh, I'm gonna leave for the feedback and do it another day.